Hi, this is Michael and Sam. And this is our music video meltdown. So the story first begins in the first scene, when the frontman is in the toilet daydream. He opens his eyes, which then begins the music. He wants to make it seem as if he's about to have a dream and was taken to a parallel world with gangsters, gunfights and car chases. For the poker scene, we used the effect of secret to make the video seem older and more of its 1960s time. We also wanted fast edits to make a more intense atmosphere, which eventually builds to the front man stealing the money. We also used a lot of over-the-shoulder shots and extreme close-ups on the gangsters' faces to highlight this. One of our main objectives was not to let the video drag, so we tried to make something interesting happen every 5 to 10 seconds, which the audience could remember. For example, this part when we created the ripping effect, which ties into the lyrics. We may notice the main characters from what they're wearing and through the facial expressions. For example, the Don having a very aggressive expression because he's the boss. The poker scene is um, really interesting to film because the director filmed us a number of times doing the same thing. And when you actually watch the video, it's a lot of, lot of quick cut shots and it's actually nothing like we filmed it. It's quite interesting to go back and watch it like that. Our next main scene is the car chase. This involves the gangsters attempting to find the front man who had just stolen the money. Again, we continue the idea of using fast edits to give a video a more on edge approach. This is filmed a few times through so the director had much more variety in shots. An example of this is when I look at my watch. One shot is of the watch and the next shot is of me looking up at the watch. As you can see, we soon introduced our Scar pop band from the video. We filmed this section in a dark room using studio lights to create shadows and to give it an underground touch. We further tweaked the contrast and colour balance using editing software. At the time of filming, we used two cameras, one handheld and the other on a tripod, panning from one side to the other, to give us a variety of shots to choose from. When the frontman breaks out from where they're playing poker, he starts to run away to get away from the henchmen following him in the car. We wanted to keep this interesting and quite comic, so we used loads of different styles of shots such as establishing shots, close-up shots and point-of-view shots, such as when he's throwing the bag over the gate and then hops over to get it out. This was done in two shots, one long shot where you see him throw the bag and jump over, and then a close-up on the bag as he picks it up again. It then goes back into the original shot as he runs away. For our absolute killer 90 degree handbrake turn, we put safety at the top of our agenda. We used a back dirt road to make it easier for the car to slide, and it was also a great setting for our following gunshot scene. Again, we made it very interesting with the shots from different angles, especially lower shots near the wheels, to emphasise speed. When filming the gunshot, obviously we couldn't use a real gun, so we added in a gunshot effect to the video to add more emphasis on the kill. We then slowed down the shots to the front man falling, so the audience could really take in the effect of the gunshot. We then had a point of view shot with a similar shot, which we blurred into each other to make it seem like the front man was dying. For our final scene, we had a shot of the front man walking down a long road, fading in and out of, of a shot to create the illusion of him not really being there. Thanks for watching. Check out the new video. Not down. <laughs>